A unique runoff election is shaping up in San Marcos. Juan Miguel Arredondo faces incumbent Jane Houston in the race for mayor. But in weighing their options, voters will have to consider the results of another race or a school board seat. Arredondo won that election Tuesday. Kexan's Tahir Rahman explains why he was allowed to run for both positions and what might happen if he ends up winning both. While folks are taking down their signs, I am putting mine up in additional locations. Juan Miguel Arredondo secured his seat on the board for the San Marcos Consolidated Independent School District, but he's turning his attention to a second race for mayor of San Marcos. It's always a challenge to ask folks to vote for you and to put their trust in you. And in 2020, I asked people in some parts of the community to vote for me twice. That's normally not allowed under Texas election code, but there's nothing normal about 2020. Our elections were postponed from May through November because of the COVID. So we had to get legal approval for him to be able to be on the ballot twice. The Hayes County Elections Office says if he ends up winning both seats, Arredondo would have to give up one. He's already made that decision. And I would uh, step down from the ISD Board of Trustees to serve as their next mayor. The school board president says discussions won't start until after the runoff on December 8th. We will have to come up with names of people that we are thinking could be a successor to his spot. For now, Arredondo will be sworn into his third term as school board member on Monday. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. School board president says if Arredondo steps down from his school board position, they would have 180 days to fill his empty seat. Something similar happened about 20 years ago. David Chu was elected mayor in 2000 and then resigned from his school board position. But Chu was not running for both races at the same time. It's also important to note runoff dates are not universal in Texas. You heard Tara mention the runoff election in Hayes County is Tuesday, December 8th. That is a week before the runoff election in Travis County, which is Tuesday, December 15th.